All right. All right. Say welcome to cooking with Daddy. Why are we getting late? I'll say welcome to cooking with Daddy. Welcome to cooking with Daddy. Say. We're gonna make cupcakes. No, we're not making cupcakes. First, we're gonna make sugar candy. You wanna make some sugar candy? Yeah. Yeah. Say it's called glass candy. Glass. Glass candy. Glass candy. It's very very easy to make. Only a few short steps. No, I just like say, to say, it's October now. It's the month for Halloween. Yeah. It's the month where we make all kinds of goodies and candies and go trick or treating and lots of fun stuff. So we're going to make some candy. Candy. And we're going to use this candy for something. I want to pour it in here. Okay, so we need two cups of water. Go ahead and pour the water in. Two cups of water. And we need one cup of corn syrup. But first we're going to do the sugar. We need three and a half cups of sugar. So we'll do this one first. One. You can pour it. You have to put it down, sweetie. You have to put it down so we get an even cup. That's three. And now we get a half a cup. Half a cup. Okay. Good girl. Didn't even spill a drop. Oh, don't do that. Okay, so that's three and a half cups of sugar. Now we need one cup. One cup of corn syrup. I'm gonna pour it in here. Scrape it out with this one. Scrape it out. Maybe. No, it's not going to work. Maybe we'll do it with this. How about in mine? No, no, no more. That's it. How about in mine? Well, we don't need a half a cup. We only need it one cup. That one's a half. We need one quarter tablespoon Can of. I Cream of tatar. Okay, pour it in here. Okay, so now we're just gonna mix this up a little bit. Hey, is that called a spatula? Yeah, a spatula. Mix, mix, mix it up. Mix it nice and good. No, 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 not with this. That's only for uh, cookies. This is liquid, so you can't pick it up. You only do that with dough recipes. Dough recipes? Yeah. Cookie dough, bread dough, anything with dough, pizza dough. But this isn't dough, it's liquid. You can't pick it up. Remember? Okay, that's all mixed up. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this here candy thermometer and I'm going to set it on the edge of the pot. Now you want the tip to be at least two inches into the liquid but you do not want it to sit on the bottom of the, the, the bottom of the pot because then it's going to heat up too quickly it didn't want to go bottom the pot 
Yeah, you just want it in the water, but not on the bottom. I don't want it to fall in here. Yeah, we don't want it to go all the way in, just a little bit. So when this gets to 300 uh, degrees Fahrenheit or 150 degrees Celsius, then you want to take it off the stove right away and as fast as you can pour it into a metal baking sheet or we're going to use big round uh, foil plates. Um, and yeah, so I'm going to go boil this water and we'll come back and we will show you the rest. All right, so we cooked this a little bit too long. It's turned golden brown now, which is not necessarily bad. It's just not going to be a clear glass. Okay, and this, the table is so sticky. The table is so, so, so. It's sticky? Yeah. That's because we're making candy. So now we just pour it into this tray here and we let it sit until it hardens. Don't touch, don't touch. Very, very hot. It's already. Yeah. Uh -huh. Don't touch, okay? Uh -huh. Whoa. So the difference between this clear candy and the dark candy that we just made a minute ago is about five minutes. just on time because it's just about to start turning golden brown. So we went ahead and put this one in the fridge. This one is nice and hard. I'm the best cook in the whole wide world. You did it. Well, still a little sticky on the bottom in the middle. Look at this big, big piece of candy. Yeah, that's a big piece of candy, isn't it? Yeah. Yummy. Yummy. Still looks like broken glass, maybe a beer bottle or something. <laughs> All right. Welcome, Cooking with Daddy. Welcome back to Cooking with Daddy. Welcome back to Cooking we with Daddy. We just finished up at the park. Matilda picked everybody some flowers. <laughs> Show them your flowers. Yay. So this is our candy. It says to beat it with a mallet, but uh, a meat mallet, but we're just gonna pick it up like this. Now what we wanna do with this is gonna be special. We're gonna make it look like glass. And you're gonna see that on the next episode. But that is how you make glass candy. Is it yummy? Mm hmm. Mmm. Very tasty. 
very sweet, Steve, and this one was cooked a little bit too long. It's got a brown tinge to it, but I think that might just be caused by the corn syrup that we used. We didn't use the light corn syrup, so that would be why. But the difference between this candy and this candy is about five minutes cooking time. So depending on what color you want your candy to be and how hard you want it to be, you really gotta watch it. It still tastes amazing either way it's just the color that's it daddy you're the best cooker i'm the best cooker yeah you cooked it too uh -huh. you cooked it too is it yummy yummy it's too hard it's too hard i can make a toffee one next you want to make a toffee one yeah okay not today though but next time you will make a toffee okay It'll be nice and chewy and yummy. Okay, say bye bye. Bye bye. Say see you next time. See you next time. Say we can't wait to show you what we're gonna do with this candy. We're gonna show you how to do with this candy. <laughs> good girl. Have a good bye. day. Have a good day. Mm. It's delicious candy.